Okay, so we've got this sequence, 4, 9, 14, 19, 24. Write down the nth term, it says. And the first thing you should do is, is look at the gap each time, okay? So you can see the gap between each term is plus 5, yeah? It's increasing by 5 each time. So because it's increasing by 5 each time, we're going to write down 5n, right? Essentially, it's, that's like the 5 times table. So with the nth term then, you've written down 5n, and what we do then, we need to determine whether we add something or take away. Now, the quick way to this is to see what would have come before, okay? So if we pretend there's a term before then, that's what we're going to add on here. So if you can see here, this is going up in fives. If there was a term before this, well, if we go back five, four take away five, we end up at minus one, okay? So that's the number there that we're going to put on the end here. So it'll be five n minus one, okay? You might be wondering, you know, why that works, how that works like that. Well, if you think about it, we, we got that gap, didn't we, of five um, each time. We could see that, and we wrote down 5n. Now, 5n is just the five times table, yeah? Okay, because, you know, n is just, like, the counting numbers. So, if I do five times one, it's five. That would be the first number. Um, and then two, five times two is ten. Five times three is fifteen. 5 times 4 is 20, 5 times 5 is 25, okay? So that's the 5 times table, okay? Now if we look at the sequence, 4, 9, 14, 19, 24. Now if you compare the 5 times table, which is what 5n is, to the actual sequence, if you think about it, to get from here to the sequence, I've just got to go back one, haven't I? I've got to take away one. All right, um, so 5n, take away 1, will give me my sequence, okay? So let's see this again here, in action with this, the second one. So the gap here is 7, yeah? Okay, so um, 7n we write, yeah? Okay, because the gap is increasing every time it's going up by 7. So 7n, what you do then is, as I said before, you, you go back to see what the term would have been here, if there was a term before 8. Now, of course, because it's going up in 7s, so if you go back a term, if you go back 7, it'll take you to 1. And that's positive 1, so we add on 1 there. So there you go, your nth term is 7n plus 1. And again, I can show that it works, because 7n is the 7 times table, so 1 times 7, 2 times 7, 3 times 7, 4 times 7, 28, <laughs> 5 times 7 is 35. So if you compare this to the sequence, okay, well if you can see then to get from the 7 times table to the sequence, we have to add on 1, yeah? If you add on 1 to this, you get the sequence. So that's why we've got that here, okay? Um, so we'll answer question two as well. Find the nth term for the following sequence. Well, again, just look here, look at the gap. You can see, oh, it's going up in threes. Okay, so I write three n, okay, to start with. That's the three times tables. Now, the quick way then to work out what we, what we add on here or take away is you go back, yeah? You just pretend there's a term before. So, because it's going up in threes, if we go back three, from 7, if you go back 3, it'll take you to 4, won't it? Okay, so, and it's plus 4, yeah? So we're adding on 4. So that will be the nth term there. And that's all you have to do, okay? If you want to write out, if you want to sort of prove it this way, again, you can, okay? You can write the 3 times table here, because that's what 3n is. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, okay? And you can see then to get from here to the sequence, You've just got to add on 4, okay? Add on 4 to the 3 times table, okay? But try and remember this quick way because it's much easier, isn't it, to just write it on straight away.